talking about a tragedy you cannot not even comprehend. I, you know, strangely enough, I had talked about the the um, ar- archaeological ruins at Palmyra a month before they destroyed the archaeological ruins at Palmyra. Remember, I told you about the pink columns. I was telling you about what Aldous Huxley had written about them, the mystical nature of those pink columns, how they had been transported from Egypt overland thousand years ago. No one even knows how. And these animals, these throwbacks, blew it up because it's not pure enough for those psychos. These purists who like to rape eight-year-old girls. The, the, the Palmyra archaeological edifices were not pure enough for those scum. So good riddance. I hope the Iranians killed them all. Now you say, well, whoa, wait a minute, Mike, but now let's think beyond that. You know, we all want ISIS gone. Well, ISIS, by the way, is our factotum army. In, in Syria. I don't know how the Israelis could have not I did not seen this coming. And by the way, speaking of Israel, I have to say, I watched Netanyahu today with great anticipation. I turned it off after three minutes. He looked like a defeated man. It was pathetic to watch. Remember the last time he came here, I was broadcasting from Florida. I remember it very well. And we ran his speeches, and I was so excited to hear Netanyahu speak, and I saw that, that loud of a president that we have walk out, not even listen to him. I saw what a thin, thin man he really is. A man of no substance whatsoever. Acting like a street punk. Walking out on Netanyahu. Wouldn't even listen to him. Same as Putin. He underestimated both of them. But I looked at Netanyahu today. I saw a a defeated man. And I saw also that Israel is no longer relevant in the world. I'm sorry to tell you. Israel is no longer relevant. The whole world has said, you know what? It's enough with you already. Okay, the world has changed. Stop already. You're a small nation. We'll make sure you survive, but stop throwing your weight around. It's enough already. And Netanyahu looked like he knew it finally. Oh, he gave a good enough speech. He hit the, he hit the right points. I turned it off. He's defeated. They need a new leader, by the way. Israel needs a new leadership, new, new, new leadership, and they need it fast. He's overstayed his, uh, his welcome in the world. Well, I'm going on and on here about so many different topics, and I continue to go on and on when I come back for another few hours right here on the Savage Nation. Remember this, the phone number, some housekeeping. There's one open line at 855-400-7282 if you want to chime in on the uh, bombing in Syria or what I've said. If it rankles you in some way, tell me why, and I'll immediately swat you down like the small fly that you are. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. Well, the issue of the day is quite clear. It's the media cover-up of uh, the disaster that Barack Obama has wrought not only in the Middle East, but the world. I'm looking at the at CNN for the last hour that I've been on the air. They have not changed the picture of the Oregon uh, massacre. One image, Oregon State Police, 10 dead in college shooting. Not one word about the invisible fabrication called the President of the United States. Not a single word about Syria. It's off. Why is it off? Why have they dropped the issue of Russia, which yesterday they were covering uh, ad infinitum. Why? Well, it's pretty clear why. Does this make Obama look stronger or weaker? Does Vladimir Putin doing what he wants in Syria make Obama look smarter or what he really is? A virtual president, a fabrication. There's your answer. Ask the question. You have the answer. That's all. Would have to lead you like a, like a, like a high school student. There's your answer. The reason the compliant media is not showing you around the clock coverage of Syria is because Obama failed miserably. And they'd have to admit he's been wrong about that. Then what? Oh, my God. Maybe he's wrong about something else. Maybe he was wrong about giving Iran a nuclear weapon. Maybe he was wrong about forcing socialized medicine down our throat. When we read that 100,000 people in New York are going to lose their health plans because of the fraudulent insurance companies that were set up by Obama's corrupt buddies who belong in prison. 100,000 New Yorkers and taxpayers screwed. No Obamacare. Who stole the money? Obama's donors. Who set up these shell companies called these insurance companies for Obamacare? Obama's corrupt friends. Didn't see that, did you? Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. Savage. 
Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. That is the natural alliance that should be occurring in front of our eyes, but for the fact that we have an anti-American, invisible president. And when I say invisible president, where is he? Can anyone tell me where Barack Obama is today, the day after? The Russia he claims he controlled, unleashed, and I mean not the full force, they unleashed a minor part of what they can unleash <clears throat> upon the enemies of civilization in Syria. Where is he? Where is Obama? What's he doing? A fundraiser? God only knows where he is. Partying somewhere? Having a good time somewhere? Where is he? What kind of country have we had? Have we allowed it to become? And by the way, where are all the candidates on this? Have you heard one of them say anything other than Trump? Who's modified his stance, by the way. One day he said, let the Russians do it. Then he changed it slightly. I don't like the way the handlers are, are feeding him to it. I don't like it. I'm sorry. I still support him. I don't like the liberal, the liberal handlers he suddenly got. That's the direction he's going in. It's the way of all candidacies. I've seen it before. But that's not the issue. The issue is you. The issue is you. What's going on in Syria? Do, does anyone really know? I know. I know. I saw this from a mile away. I wrote about it in my chapter zero military and government zero. And many of you are confused. You're perplexed because you're trapped in the past. You're saying Putin's the greatest threat to the world and we should, we should, we should, we should, we should what? We, we, we well, uh, we should. We, uh, then they, they, they peter off. Have you caught that recently? Why? Why not Putin? He, you can't let him get away. I, we should. We should. We, uh, uh, what? What are you saying, moron? You want to go to war with Russia, idiot? Oh, you don't think so? Why not? Well, for one, the military has been decapitated by the radical mafia that took over the U.S. military under Obama. The non-military advisors, the KGB of America, known as the liberal GB, the LBG, the liberal BG took over the military. They've decimated it. Smears, innuendos, they've purged the military. And as a result, I'm not so sure we would win in that, in that fight. Nor do I ever want to see it happen. Because we're in a fight for the survival of Western civilization, whether you know it or not. I can make it a racial thing, but I won't. I'll make it a, a clash of civilization thing. Just say we. <clears throat> We are in a fight for the survival of Western civilization. And I include Russia in that statement of Western civilization. I do not include the Muslim Brotherhood in the equation of Western civilization. Not at all. And so, therefore, which side are you on? Whoa, we don't like those Russians. They're going to take over the world, are they? What world? What world it's not? Uh, which world are they taking over? And when you go to sleep at night, if you ever think about politics... What do you really fear the most? Is it um, <clears throat> psychotics with headscarves who want you to pray to Mecca, who want to cut your throat, rape your wife, throw you down a well if you're a Jew? Is that who, is that who you fear or do you fear a Russian? Tell me it is who's rampaging across the world, burning churches, killing Christians, enslaving women, raping women, selling women on slave auctions. Is it, is it Russians or is it Muslims in ISIS? So can you finally figure out that although you're stuck in the past, you may be wrong? I'm not, say, I'm not saying go to Russia with love. I'm not asking you to join the brigade of worshiping Putin. I didn't say any of that. I'm <clears throat> just talking about what you see in front of your eyes. And if you take a close look of the picture, you'll realize that Russia is doing what Obama said he was doing, but he never did do. Because Obama is a through and... I'll stop. I really don't want to bash Obama because it's beneath me. By bashing Obama, all I do is join the legions of those who've seen through him from the day he arrived on the scene out of nowhere. What's the point of bashing a virtual president? So, therefore, here we are. Here we are. Now we have the craziness of John McCain again. 
the lunatic who went to Egypt after they overthrew the Muslim Brotherhood and screamed for the reinstallation of the Muslim Brotherhood, the lunatic, John McCain, is now saying, you're not going to believe what we have for you. Where's the soundbite where he says, give them the Stinger missiles? Do we have that? That's the one I'm looking for. I know we got it. Here's the lunatic, the guy who either has half Alzheimer's or full Alzheimer's. Let's listen. But I might do what we did in Afghanistan many years ago to give those guys the ability to shoot down those planes. That, uh, that equipment is available, just like the, Russian, the Afghans shot down Russian planes after Russia invaded Afghanistan. Can you believe this? Can you believe this warmonger? And by the way, his daughter's not much smarter. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. How'd they put her on, on Fox News? How did they take this one? How, why would they put, the, the girl has nothing to say. Listen to her. I said, who is this bumbling blonde on Fox News? John McCain's daughter. The bumbler doesn't fall far from the hive. No sorry, Bob, Teddy. It's a strange uh, canvas out there. If you care to uh, chime in on why the Democrats are silent on Russia, would you please call 855-407-282? And by the way, where's John Boehner on what he thinks should be doing, uh, we should be doing in Syria? Where's that stew bum drunk today? Why he's cutting a deal with Pelosi. He's seeing what he can get as part of his retirement package for doing her bidding, Milady's bidding. Uh, where is any of the, where are any of the candidates on this? Where's Ted Cruz? Has Ted Cruz given us a position on the Russia, the Russian incursion, to use an old Vietnam era phrase, the Russian incursion into Syria? Where is uh, where are any of the other candidates, any other the bull weevils on the Republican side? Certainly, where's Hillary? Where is she? Didn't she call a uh, uh, Putin Hitler a few months ago? She'll live to eat those words, by the way. That woman is so wrong about everything. It's just frightening. But we live in a dictatorship where she doesn't even have to answer to her own party, let alone the American people. When has she last debated anyone? Never. The last person she debated was Bill Clinton over Monica Lewinsky. That's the last time she had a debate that anyone knows about. Chris, KSFO, where the show is booming in San Francisco. What's on your mind, Chris? Yes, sir. I wanted to talk about Wag the Dog real quick at two points. Uh, the Clinton sex scandal, the next thing in the news was America sends NATO forces over to bomb in Bosnia. Uh, I think it's relevant to today. Obama doesn't say anything uh, with the news of Russia sending missiles. And the very next day, we have a huge shooting uh, in Oregon. And I think... I am, but Chris, hold it. Hold it. Chris, I said all of this before in the last hour. What is your new point? Uh, my new point is uh, my wife... She's a Russian immigrant, came over when she was 10 years old. They're a Christian Baptist. Her family uh, said, just like you said the other day, you hit the nail on the head. They support Putin and these missiles. And the book that you commented on yesterday about reading that Russia would become the new America and America would become the new Russia, she said pretty much verbatim last week in looking around. She delivers mail. I drive trucks. You couldn't have said it more clear. I appreciate the 14 years of radio I've been listening since 2001. Thank you. That's wow. the moment today. No, no, stay on the line. I'm sending you my new blockbuster, Government Zero, because the chapter called Zero Military is germane to today's uh, insights into what's going on in Syria. Thank you for calling. Well, I actually only quoted Aldous Huxley, who wrote this in the 1950s. Uh, I didn't read him until the 60s. But he wrote, just to repeat what I said yesterday, that... In the future, as Russia and the United States get closer and closer together with more trade and more cultural interchange, Russia will become more like the United States, and the United States will become more like the Soviet Union. Th that's what I said. And, and the Soviet, the ex-Soviets know this. They know that Obama is actually more dictatorial than Putin. They fear Obama more than they, did, than they would fear Putin. Do you know that? They see the corruption is worse than it is in Russia. Take a look at the ambulances in this country and the thievery, the billions of dollars being stolen in Medicaid from fake ambulance companies. I'm giving you one example. Yeah, from Russia with love. KSFO, Louis, you oppose the Russian incursion. Go ahead, please. Tell us why. Well, for one thing, Gog Magog is an enemy of Israel, and they just uh, strengthened Syria, another enemy of Israel. Now Israel has to contend with another airstrip and several sophisticated fighter planes. So I disapprove. I 